If you can't use rise or crystal effects to adjust your color profiles, you can use the vocal menu and gestures. Let's have a look how you can do this. Right, so Crystal FX is a configuration based saber, so it has uh, had options to configure uh, your colors and your effects for uh, well, I think as long as the CFX exists. Um, what has gotten a lot of attention lately is the options to adjust the colors on your uh, saber by focal menu. Um, I recently watched a, a video that is uh, quite old, some years old. It's a video by uh, Vader's Fault, and it already demonstrated the options that the CFX has to change these colors on the fly using the vocal menu. Um, just to be clear, I am not the biggest fan of a vocal menu. I think uh, the more complicated stuff that is actually several, several layers deep. Uh, you should always use a configuration tool like Rise or uh, Crystal FX because it gets tedious moving in and out of all these different layers of focal menu, uh, especially when you made a mistake and you have to make the round trip, open layer 1, go to layer 2, go to layer 3, uh, just to adjust some simple thing. It's always easier to use a configuration tool, but for the more simple stuff you can use these focal menus. Um, you can use a vocal menu to adjust these colors. Um, if the saber is asleep, uh, first wake it up, and then you can press the auxiliary button, uh, press it and hold it to go into the vocal menu. Sound effect selection. Trailer! Then click to SD card system menu. navigate to the system menu, hold and press the main button to open Five. this uh, menu option and press the auxiliary button to go through the menu options again. Color profiles. Press main to open this menu option. Select color profile. And I want to, uh, I don't want to select the color profile, but I want to edit the individual uh, colors of the uh, effects. Blade color. So, there are a couple of colors. The blade color, which is the color, uh, if you don't have any effects, uh, or in stable effects or flicker effects, this is the color that the main blade will uh, will have. Flash on clash color. It's the flash on clash color. Lock up color. Lock up color. Bolt color. The uh, blaster deflect color. Crystal color. Uh, crystal color. Effects color. Effects color. So if you have an unstable effect selected, uh, this will be the color that will get mixed in by the unstable effect. Flicker color. Uh, the flicker color. Uh, you can now use a localized flickering effect. Stab color. The stab color at the tip of the blade. Drag color. And the drag color also at the tip of the blade. Previous menu. Select color profile. Blade color. Now, if you want to uh, select a color, uh, you can do this in, in several ways. I've got mine uh, configured in such a way that I can use a twist or angle to select a color. So if I go into this menu, it's now a red blade. So I can use the angle. And you can see it better like this. So I can change the color, and I can also use a twist. So I can twist, and say, okay, I like this color. And then I can press the auxiliary button to select it. Delete color. And I can move to the next color. Select color profile. Previous menu, drag color. The drag color, step color. Step color. So that's for every color, it's exactly the same. And if I want to go color. out of this menu again, Thanks. crystal color, bolt color, lock up, clash on clash, blade color, select color profile, previous menu, previous menu, press and hold the main button to select this option. Color profiles. You will hear the color profiles uh, saved, so it has changed this color profile. Um, you need to make sure that if you change a color profile, this will affect all sound fonts that are uh, linked to this color profile. So if you have uh, uh, several fonts that make use of this single color profile and you change it by using uh, these focal menus, then uh, several sound fonts will get altered at the same time. Uh, also, this isn't very clear using the focal menu. Again, uh, Crystal Effects will give you that overview uh, so you can see what 
has uh, changed when you're making changes to the blade profile or the color profile. Previous menu, volume, previous menu, system menu, exit menu. And if you take a look right now, the main blade has got the color that I just selected. And you can see here the localized uh, flipper color, which is blue. So I can change that, for example. Sound bank selection. Okay. SD color. System menu. Volume. Color profiles. Select color profile. Blade color. Flash on clash. Lock up color. Bolt color. Crystal color. Effects color. Flicker color. It's the flicker color. It was blue. Now let's change it to something more obvious. Let's make it the, uh, the, the green. Flicker color. Stop color. Drag color. Previous menu. Select it. Color and here profiles. I've got the volume set very low, so but it will mention that the color profiles uh, saved. Volume. Previous menu. System menu. Exit menu. And now you can see also the uh, base with the flicker is uh, green. So you don't see it anymore because the blade itself is also green. So using the vocal menu you can change the colors. Um, it's fun. If you want to make more in-depth changes and really take a deep dive into configurating your saber, uh, I would also uh, always suggest using uh, rice or crystal effects and don't use a vocal menu because it will take too much time and it gets uh, uh, very tedious. Um, but you have this option and if you like it, then, uh, then just use it. To give you a better understanding of, of what each color parameter in these color profiles do, uh, I'll go uh, through each and every one of them. Except the crystal, I don't have a crystal on this, uh, this saber, so I can't show you that. But first, the uh, color parameter, that's the blade color. So if there's no uh, additional effects, this is the color of the blade. You will see it change here if I change it in the crystal effects program. Um, that's the regular blade color. Then we have the effects color. If we use an effect, an unstable effect, like the unstable blade, the uh, effects color, that's the E color, that's the color that will get mixed in. So <coughs> you'll see it change if we do an additional red or a yellow green you will see the color that gets mixed in uh, changes when using the effects color. Let's remove the unstable blade so we can see the other effects better. Now we have the uh, flash on clash color. So if you uh, clash with the blade, that's the color that you will see. And let's change this to red. You'll see it very little, so let's make it bit more visible it's yellow then uh, let's do the lockup color now so if we do a lockup it's a localized lockup lockup will actually use the lockup color and the uh, flash on clash color and uh, the lockup color will get mixed in when you uh, twist the uh, saber and the main color is actually the uh, flash on clash color as you can see uh, over here Purple looks rather nice. That's the uh, lockup effect. Then we have the uh, blaster bolt, the bolt color. You can see here it's green. Uh, let's make it blue. It's very visible. Then we have the flicker color, uh, as I mentioned before. You can now have a localized flicker effect. So uh, right now it's set to the base of the uh, of the blade. So if I take a look, I set the spreading for the flicker effect. So we've got uh, several uh, flicker effects, and I can do a, a random or a, a noise, which can be very localized. And as you can see here, I can make it grow or shrink, and I can also. Uh, set the location of the flicker effect so for visibility uh, let's place it here and i can change the color of this uh, flicker effect that is the k color for the flicker effect 
Next we have the, uh, the stab. I don't know which uh, stab effect we have. <coughs> Let's enable the flash on clash. And do the scroll effect for the stab. Now, I do know this isn't very visible uh, on a camera, but it's a blue stab at the tip right now. And for the drag, you can see the drag, it's, it's almost the same. And you can see that is the D color, the drag color. Right, let's remove the drag. Um, so to make this all visible, I, I really dimmed the blade. So I, that will change some, some mixing, but uh, if I try to film it like this, it will all blur into one big haze. So uh, that's why I dimmed it to be able to show the colors better. So these are all the color parameters, except uh, the crystal, but the principle is the same. Um, this should enable you to, uh, to create your own color profiles uh, and uh, customize it just the way you want it. Um, that's it. Enjoy. Bye bye.